Thank you very much. To the President Board, Chairman Thiss, Vice Chairman Hightower, all of you who are now serving, former Distinguished Chancellor McCormick, Maury Anderson, to former members of the Board who I see here today, all of you have built this great Minsku college and university system. And to all of you, on behalf of all of us in Minnesota, thank you. Thank you for a job very, very well done. And I hope we can recognize everybody who's made those contributions in leadership roles. A round of applause. <laughs> St. Paul Mayor Coleman, welcome to you and your host city here. And uh, Chancellor Rosenstone, your family, who've taken on the, the torch of this responsibility. We say thank you and for your willingness to serve and your willingness to lead. The Chancellor has uh, told me he's been to all over the state of Minnesota, 6,000 miles, uh, visiting every one of the Minsku campuses, listening to faculty, to administrators, to students. So he understands fully, as, as I do from my years of experience, how vitally important each one of those colleges and universities is to the communities, to the citizens, to the students, and to the state of Minnesota. The communities that are fortunate enough to have a college or a university in the Minsku system have special advantages over those which don't. Those campuses attract highly educated, dedicated, skilled faculty, support staff, administrators, and professionals. They bring in students that create a vital core for community leadership now and into the future. They have everything to do with the economic vitality of those communities and those regions of our state. They have everything to do with teaching and training those young people and those who are returning mid-career, mid-life, teaching them the skills, giving them the opportunities to be successful. And if Minnesota is to be successful in the future, all of us need to be successful. It's not enough for just 85 or so percent of our people in this state to be employed, to be entrepreneurs, to be service professionals. If 10 percent are unemployed and 5 percent are in prison, we're in trouble. Conversely, if we all of us who have the responsibility, the Minnesota legislature, and I see legislative leaders here today, thank you, if your support for higher education in Minnesota, with the business community support for higher education in Minnesota, and with our citizen support, financial and otherwise, for higher education in Minnesota, if we all join together and make that commitment to every student, to make it possible, to make it affordable for them to attend the college or university of their choice here in our state, whether it be private, public. To give each one of them the training and the skills they need for the jobs of the future. As someone said to me in Winona, a business leader, when you're teaching technical education, you can't be teaching history. You have to be teaching current and future events. We need to support these campuses their faculties to enable them to have the wherewithal to give each one of those students the best possible education. We need you, Chancellor Rosenstone, with your board and with your administrators and faculties all over the state to define what those needs are and what tell us what you need from us in order to carry them out. It was wonderful to see this greeting from students on colleges and universities all over our state. When I was growing up in Minnesota a half century ago, they would have been considered a delegation from the United Nations. Today they're a delegation of Minnesotans. And that diversity is what enriches our state, revitalizes our state, and will create 
the genesis of the future success of our state. And it's Minsku, the colleges and universities, the faculty, the support staff, the administrators, and you, Chancellor, who have that trust now from the people of Minnesota. And you have our best wishes for your success. Thank you.